Alright, alright, alright everyone. My name is Echo Tango and welcome back to Undertale. Previously, we made a fiery journey through Hotland, in which, which, which in fact is still in progress right now. And we ran into Meditant a few times and had to play some of his dangerous puzzles. And now, well, let's continue and see what else this has to offer. <laughs> Hope we can get to the core in time. So, we're noticing something a little different here. We're moving away from the usual core layout and now... To something a little bit more spooky, <laughs> you can say. Wow, spiders all over, I must say. Oh boy, what was that? <laughs> did you hear what they just said? What? What did I say? They said a human wearing a striped shirt will come through. I heard that they hate spiders. Well, you're, you're just assuming that because a lot of humans hate spiders. I, for one, actually love spiders. I think spiders are great for this planet. I mean, they're a great species and, and great... I don't know, I can't really say species. Because, well, there are a lot of specific spider species. You get, you get what I'm trying to say. They're, they're a great animal on this planet, actually. They actually do help more than they hurt. And I'm really trudging through spider web. I heard that they love to stomp on them. Well, unfortunately, yep, that's true for most humans. If not, if we're assuming not, not cowering away in fear, you know what I mean. I heard that they like to tear their legs off. Tear their legs off. Hmm, okay. That's unfortunate. I heard. Ooh. Well, well, well. That they're awfully stingy with their money. Okay, now that is absolutely true of us humans. We are very stingy people because we like to hold on to our money. You know, it's so easy to spend things, but then again, we need to save. Well, but then again... Looking at you, you're that spider baker that we saw not too long ago. We saw you in the last episode. You're her. You're the one who's making ridiculous prices for your for your products. Here's a tip. No economics. Because that is not a very good sales pitch. You're 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 helping out your species, right? But you're selling everything for 9,999 gold? No one's gonna buy because it's too expensive. You gotta lower your prices. Come on. It's economics. <laughs> you think your taste is too refined for pastries, don't you, dearie? No. I just can't afford it. <laughs> I disagree with that notion. I think your taste is exactly what this next batch needs. Yep. She wants it. <sighs> She wants to use me as food. Oh boy. Yeah, yeah, laugh. Ho <laughs> ho Muffet traps you. Yep, that's right, everyone. A mini boss. All right, let's see what we have here. I have 589 gold. I can pay 10 gold. I can bribe her. I don't want to. Muffet, attack 38.8, defense 18.8. Hmm, fitting for spiders, is 8 legs, and we get 0.8 as decimal values. If she invites you to her parlor, I mean, if she invites you to her parlor, excuse yourself. Don't look so blue, my dearie. Um. Well, I am purple now. I think purple is a better look on you. <laughs> You're trapped in the strange purple web. Hmm, there's a sign here that says up next, which I'm assuming is a spider. Struggle. I'm not- I'm not paying 10 gold to you. Besides, I've already paid for any of your products way back in the ruins. You struggle to escape the web. Muffet covers her mouth and giggles at you. Why so pale? You should be proud. So I can only go on these... Okay. Muffet pours you a cup of spiders. Let's see what we have. I'm sparing. Proud that you're going to make a delicious cake. <laughs> it's 
freebie. Oh, jeez. I'm taking damage here. Smells like freshly baked cobwebs. Well, let me check my items for a second. Okay. Spider donut. This is important, by the way. Spider donut. But we're not going to use that just yet. I mean, I've heard, I've heard rumors that if you buy anything from the ruins at her bake sale, you might actually get rewarded. Let you go? Don't be silly. Muffet does a synchronized dance with the other spiders. I'm trying to understand what her sign is showing. I'm assuming that looks like a spider with a donut. Your soul is going to make every spider very happy. Uh, oh, no, oh, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, there's donuts! Oh, oh, I see, okay, I get it now. Muffet does a synchronized dance with the other spiders. Oh, how rude of me. I almost forgot to introduce you to my pet. It's breakfast time, isn't it? Have fun, you two. Um, what the heck is going on? Oh. Oh, jeez. Jesus, man, that's fast. This is a fast boy. Woo, that was close. Muffet tidies up the web around you. The person who warned us about you. Who's that? Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Oh, I gotta heal up. Muffet pours you a cup of spiders. All right, let's use it. You ate the spider donut. You recovered 16 HP. Huh? Where'd you get that? Did you steal it? No. Oh, my pet. It's time to show them what we do with thieves. I didn't steal it, I paid for it! Huh? A telegram from the spiders in the ruins? What? They're saying that you saw- it, that they saw you and... You helped donate to their cause! Oh my, this has all been a big misunderstanding! I thought you were someone that hated spiders! Oh no, I will, I'm willing to support you guys! The person who asked for that soul... They must have meant a different human in the striped shirt. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's 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 for sure. Yeah. Oh, totally. Sorry for all the trouble. <laughs> I'll make it up to you. You can come back here anytime and for no charge at all. I'll wrap you up and let you play with my pet again. <laughs> Just kidding. I'll spare you now. Muffet is sparing you. Sweet. You won. You're in zero XP and zero gold. <laughs> that was fun. See you again, dearie. Hey, at least it all worked out in the end. That's nice. Anyways, what else has this place got to offer for me? Alright, there's a poster. Meditin. It's a poster from Meditin's latest stage performance. A tragic tale of two star-crossed lovers, kept apart by the tides of fate. Looks like it's almost time for the performance. Sounds like Romeo and Juliet to me. Now, this is different. Oh, that human... Hello? Could it be? Oh. You're in a dress. My one true love. Oh boy. Things are happening. Things are happening, everyone. <laughs> I don't think I can move, can I? Oh my love. Please run away. Monster King forbids your stay. Humans must live far apart, even if it breaks my heart. They'll put you in the dungeon. Wait, I can actually move around? Huh. It'll suck. I'm blocked off by these electro barriers. And then you'll die a lot. As if I haven't died already enough. Really sad. You're gonna die. Cry, cry, cry. Get back. Get away from me. So sad it's happening. Yeah, so sad. 
Uh, yeah, that's totally sad. So sad. So sad that you're going to the dungeon. Well, doodles. And I go down. Oh, but you followed me down here. Oh no, whatever shall I do? What shall I do? My love has me cast away into the dungeon. A dungeon with a puzzle so dastardly, my parameter will surely perish. Oh boy. Oh heavens have mercy! The horrible color tile maze! Each color tile has its own sadistic function. For example, a green tile sounds a noise, and then you must fight a monster. Red tiles will... Actually, wait a second. Didn't we see this puzzle about a hundred rooms ago? I think so. Yeah, Papyrus introduced me to it, but we never actually did it because we can just skip it. That's right. You remember all the rules, don't you? No? Great. Then I won't waste your time repeating them. Oh, and you better hurry. Because if you don't get through in 30 seconds... You'll be incinerated by these jets of fire! Ah, <laughs> My poor love, I'm filled with so grief I can't stop laughing. Yep, that's definitely what the definition of grief is. Good luck, darling. Yep. I can't move any faster. Can't get through that. I'm just- I'm just passing through as much as I can. I'm so screwed. <laughs> hey, I actually made it pretty far, though. Ooh, I'm so sorry. Looks like you're out of time. Here comes the flames, darling. They're closing in. Getting closer, oh my. Any minute now, you think they'll actually get me. Robotic cough. <laughs> Interesting. Ring. Watch out, I'll save you. I'm hacking into the firewall right now. Oh no, how could this happen? Foiled again by the brilliant Dr. Alphys. That's right. Come on, Meditin. Give up already. You'll never be able to defeat us. Not as long as we work together. Your puzzle's over. Now go home and leave us alone. Now that's what I talk about grit, Alphys. Awesome. Puzzle? Over? Alphys, darling, what are you talking about? Did you forget what the green tiles do? They make a sound, then you have to fight a monster. Well, darling, that monster... is me. Oh, boy. I have to fight Meditin again? What are you even fighting about? Yell at him. You yell, nothing happened. This is it, darling. Say goodbye. A phone call? Is that your phone? You'd better answer it. Hey, hey, this seems bad, but don't worry. Th there's one last thing I install on your phone. You see that yellow button? Go to this... Go to the phone's act menu and press it. Your phone's act menu is glowing. Yellow. You press the yellow button. The phone is resonating with Meditin's presence. Oh, that yellow glow. Oh. Oh, something happened to me. Now press Z! Ooh! Well, I turned it into an upside down yellow heart that can shoot things. Cool! Ooh! You've defeated me! How can this be? You are stronger than I thought, etc. And he leaves. Ring. Looks like you beat him. 
you did a really great job out there. All thanks. Well, I mean, <laughs> you did help us a lot, Alfie. So I'll give you that. You did help us get through, and you definitely saved my butt many times. I really do thankful. Thank you for that. What? Oh no! I mean, you were the one doing everything cool. I just wrote some silly programs for your phone. Um, hey, this might sound strange, but can I tell you something? Sure. Before I met you, I, I didn't really... I didn't really like myself very much. Oh. For a long time, I felt like a total screw-up. Like I couldn't do anything without... without ending up letting everyone down. Aww. But... Guiding you has made me feel a lot better about myself. Well, that's great to hear, Alfie. So I'm, I'm glad I could help with you in that. So, thanks for letting me help you. Uh, anyway, we're almost at the core. It's just past MTT Resort. Come on, let's finish this. Alright, let us finish this. Well, actually, let me tell Papyrus and Undyne, assuming I can. They should, they should know about this. Wait, did I hit the wrong button? Oh, sorry. Ring, ring. Wow! I saw it! The multicolor tile puzzle! I'm sorry to sound like- I'm, I'm probably sorry to sound like Meditator, I don't know what ha I don't know what happened. Seems like you weren't able to complete it. You've got to be prepared next time. I'll have to explain it all again. You see, red tiles are impassable. Pink tiles don't do anything. Green tiles are... <laughs> he doesn't know. <laughs> oh hey, it's Mr. Nice Cream. So there's several several entrances here. This goes somewhere. I see this guy again. Hey, hey, do you did you remember my name? Did you? I did. What? what? You remember? How could I be so easily? How could I be so easily defeated? His mouth is open. <laughs> I'll always remember that you remembered. I actually can't remember. <laughs> The two royal guards he met earlier, they're here. He seems happy. Oh, hey. We're, like, taking a rain check on that killing you thing. Like, don't tell Undyne about this, okay? I'm sure she doesn't know, but she's my friend. So you don't have to worry a thing. So now it's the elevator. I'm assuming that leads to core. This direction... Oh, actually, this goes back to that scene, which is funny. Here's Mr. Nice Cream. Hey, it's you again. This is excellent here. These two fellas bought all my ice cream. Oh, wow. I've actually sold out of everything. Sorry. Wait, I've still got something for you. A big smile. How about that? Well, that's good. I'm glad to see you smile. At least you know that at least this is going well for you. Oh, well, look at look what we got here. MTT Resort. What else is there? There's, there's actually a lot of... Okay, so there's an alleyway back here. There's a note here. Can I read it? Hey. Go up the creepy alleyway on the right for some great deals. Well, we'll take a look at that. Is there anything on this side? It's just a regular wall. <laughs> okay. Anyways. Here's Sans. Hey, Sans. But I'll be right back. I'll get to you in just a moment. Anyways, I hear there's something interesting going on over here. Hey! Check it out! Yeah, check it out! Well, who are you two? Let's see, actually, first of all, let's see what you have. You got junk food for 25 gold, heals 17 HP, has a big bite out of it. 350 gold, we have an empty gun. Weapon 12 attack, plus 2 attack, so it's plus 2 attack to what we currently have. Bullets not included. I don't think I want the gun, though, because I don't think I'll be needing it. 350 gold, we got a cowboy hat. Armor 12 defense, so an extra 1 defense for us. Attack up when worn. I'm not sure if I want that, though. Hmm. Because, I mean, the, the armor and weapons I'm wearing already have bonuses. So I don't think I... I'm afraid... I'm sorry, I don't think I need to buy anything from you two. Or what about this? 600 gold, we have a mystery key. Question mark. Probably to someone's house. LOL. I am afraid I cannot afford that. So, so sorry. But... Ch so, thanks, but we, like, you don't really need anything. 
Oh my god, can you go get us some glam burgers? We don't really need anything. Wait, I'll pay you 1,000 gold if you get Metatin to autograph my butt! Oh. Oh, okay. That- No, I don't think I can do that. Let's talk. So, like, what's up? Well, first of all, what about you two? So, for one on the left says, I'm Braddy, and this is my best friend, Caddy. I'm assuming the one on the right is Caddy. She says, I'm Caddy, and this is my best friend, Braddy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's that's cute. That's cute. So, what about your wares? The stuff inside is like totally wicked expensive. I can tell. But like this stuff we found is like totally wicked cheap. You should like totally wicked. Totally wicked buy all of it, and they both say it at the same time. <laughs> okay, well, speaking of wares, what about their origin? I mean, like, where does anyone get guns or food or. We found it in the garbage! <laughs> okay. Awkward. It's good garbage. It's like really good garbage. Well, what about the origin of garbage? Where do we get the garbage? Like, the garbage store, duh. Hmm, interesting. Waterfall, mostly. I found a gun in the dumpster. <laughs> Alright, so, that's all about the stuff. What about Meditin? Oh my god, Meditin! And they, they, both, they both love him. He's like my robot husband. Actually, he's like my robot husband. So, yeah, basically, they love him. I think we're, like, both going to marry him. We're both, like, already married to him. <laughs> he just, like, doesn't know it yet. Well, what about the origin of Meditin? So, like, Dr. Alfie's built Meditin, right? That's, like, what they tell you. But, like, Meditin always acts like being built was his idea somehow. And even right after he was built, he acted like Alfie's was an old friend. But they're, like... Not friends anymore. Yeah, unlike me and Ratty, best friends forever. <laughs> this is not interesting. What about Alfie's? Oh my God, Alfie's. She used to live. She used to live on our street. She's like a big sister. I mean, like if your big sister takes you on trips to the dump. <laughs> okay. She showed us the coolest places to find trash. She was always collecting these weird cartoons. Oh, there you go. There's that topic again. Cartoons. Then she became the royal scientist. Yeah, we haven't seen her in forever. Well, okay. What about being the royal scientist? So Alfie's is always like... The Asgore is a super cutie. So, like, I'm pretty sure she made Meditin to, like, totally impress him. A robot with a soul. That's, like, super relevant to his hobbies. So after seeing Meditin, Asgore asked her to do all the science stuff for him. But nobody's, like, seen anything from her yet. Or her at all. She must, like, just stay in her lab all day. Like, live a little, girl. Yeah, like us. Okay, well now I mentioned Asgore, what about him? Oh my god, he's a total goober. He's a big fuzzy goofball. Like... I love that guy. He's like so nice. Hey, I've heard this. I've heard that from so many people. He is. A, he he doesn't sound like a bad guy to you monsters, but unfortunately, that's not really the same for me. He kind of wants me dead. It's unfortunate, but it's true. I wish I could, you know, agree with you on this, but I haven't met the guy yet. You know. God, we're like. They both say that. So hyped for the destruction of humanity! Oh boy. And I'm a human. I don't know if you guys know that. But, okay. Well, I think I'm done chatting. I should probably head on out. I hope your business is good for you too. And maybe we'll catch up later. Like, see you later. Like, later and stuff. Cool. Anyways, so that was Braddy and Caddy, everyone. And now, I should talk to Sans. Hey, Sans. Hey, I heard you're going to the core. 
How about grabbing some dinner with me first? Sure, Dan. Great. Thanks for treating me. Over here? I know a shortcut. And we actually go up this way. Where I thought it was just a wall. Well, here we are. So, your journey's almost over, huh? You must really want to go home. Yeah, I do, actually. I do want to go home. Hey, I know the feeling, buddy. Though, maybe sometimes it's better to take what's given to you. Down here, you've already got food, drink, friends. Is what you have to do. Really worth it? I think so. Ah, uh, forget it. I'm rooting for you, kid. Hey, let me tell you a story. So I'm a sentry in Snowden Forest, right? I sit out there and watch for humans. It's kind of boring. Fortunately, deep in the forest, there's this huge locked door. And it's perfect for practicing knock-knock jokes. <laughs> I think I might know this door. So one day, I'm knocking them out, like usual. I knock on the door and say, knock-knock. And suddenly... From the other side, I hear a woman's voice. Who is there? So naturally, I respond. Dishes. Dishes who? Says she. Dishes is a very bad joke. That's what I say. And she just howls with laughter. Like it's the best joke. She, like that. Like it's the best joke she's heard in a hundred years. So I keep him coming, and she keeps laughing. She's the best audience I've ever had. Then, after a dozen of them, she knocks and says, Knock, knock. I say, who's there? She says, old lady. Old lady who, I say. Oh, I did not you could yodel. <laughs> wow. Needless to say, this woman was extremely good. We kept telling each other jokes for hours. Eventually, I had to leave. Papyrus gets kind of cranky without his bedtime story. But she told me to come by again, and so I did. Then I did again, and again. It's a thing now. <laughs> Telling bad jokes through the door. It rules. Something's on your mind, it looks like. One day, though, I noticed she wasn't laughing very much. I asked her what was up. Then she told me something strange. She told me, if a human ever comes through this door, could you please, please promise something? Watch over them and protect them, will you not? Now, I hate making promises, and this woman, I don't even know her name, but someone who sincerely likes bad jokes has an integrity you can't say no to. I understand. You get what I'm saying? That promise I made to her. You know what would have happened if she hadn't said anything? Buddy? You'd be dead. Where you stand. <laughs> oh wow, that's dark. Hey, lighten up, bucko. I'm just joking with you. Besides, haven't I done a great job protecting you? <laughs> Have you? I'm not sure, actually. I mean, look at yourself. You haven't died a single time. Have I? Have I, though? I mean, I'm pretty sure I died quite a few times. Hey, what's that look supposed to mean? It means that, unfortunately, that's not true. Am I wrong? Yes. <laughs> well, that's all. Take care of yourself, kid. Because someone really cares about you. Alright. So, where do we go from here? That's actually a pretty nice dinner place, I must say. Can't really interact with the tables much. Who are you? As I came in, I realized that I forgot to make a reservation. But I didn't want to look like I messed up. So I kept walking in anyway. Now I'm just, kinda, consuming dew off this, fi this ficus. Oh, okay. It's a potted plant. 
Can't go out here. It's another potted plant. It's some kind of TV show featuring medicine. I think there are a lot of potted plants around here. It's a platoon of ficuses. It's a wall of fame full of quotes and photos from visiting celebrities. The food is to die for. Gorgeous style and fragrance. My face tastes beautiful. Oh boy, your face tastes beautiful. These are all Meditin. <laughs> of course they're all Meditin. <laughs> Some kind of TV show for your Meditin. Yep, we've seen. It's a performance schedule. Comedians, dancers, sands. Seems there's a break now. Originally, we dug mazes with puzzles in order to foil human attacks. <laughs> but now, building things... Well... But, but, but no, 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 you say... But now, building things winding and confusing is some awful tradition. You can't go, ugh, two feet without being up to your armpits in puzzles. It's kinda... It kinda feels like that, doesn't it? Oh, sorry. Let's see if I can... I work at the core. The inside is a maze made of swappable parts. That means we can shuffle the layout at will. Boy, was today a fun day. I sure love puzzle. Puzzle. Singular form, not plural. I'm the resort comedian. I'm very funny. People laugh at my jokes. Now, my son. He wants... No, 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 no he's talking about his son. Now, my son. He wants to be a comedian like his father. But his jokes aren't funny. He tells these awful puns. He's an embarrassment to our family. <laughs> That's not funny. Since his mother passed on, he couldn't stand living at home anymore. So he ran away. I haven't seen him since. I'm a terrible father. <laughs> that's not funny. Yeah, that's not funny. Who must you be? Blub blub. You'll have to reserve a table to eat here. You'll also need to reserve your chair, your silverware, your food, your... And so on. No, no, wait, wait. Yeah, I saw that. What else is around here? <laughs> the water is spilling on the floor. There is an inscription on this fountain. World Memorial Fountain, built 20... 20 something, obviously in the 2010s. Meditin added last week. Wait, oh, I saw that. And there's a save point, thank goodness. The relaxing atmosphere of this hotel, it fills you with determination. At least we can get to relax a little bit, you know. Welcome to MTT Resort, Hotland's biggest apartment. Oh, exactly, Hotland's biggest apartment the It's Hotland's biggest apartment building turned hotel. Whether you're here for a night or still live here, MTT Resort pride prides itself on a great stay. Just passing through? Nice. MTT Resort prides itself on being passed through. Cool. <laughs> oh wow, there are a lot of monsters. Yes, we know. The elevator to the city is not working. Huh. Because of this incident, rooms are running at a special rate. 200 gold a room. Interested? I will not. Do let us know if you change your mind. Have a spark- have a sparkular day. It was Yubi. Yeah, I'm not gonna be home tonight. Um, I think there's some cold pizza in my treasure hoard you can heat up. This elevator goes straight to the capital, but it stopped working. The hotel's doing its best to accommodate everybody stuck here. Oh boy, yeah. It's a bit of a trouble for everyone. As a slime, I'm outraged. The elevator is in use. Because it's broken. Oh! Who are you? Welcome to MTT Brand Burger Emporium, home of the Glam Burger. Sparkle up your day. Trademarked. <laughs> what do you have? So you have Star Fate for 60 gold. Kills 14 HP. It's a very popular food. And he says he, he says to me, How can I help you, oh customer? <laughs> I should have seen I should have read that first. Here we have a glam burger for 120 gold. Heals 27 HP, a very popular food. Moving on, we have a legendary hero for 300 gold. Heals 40 HP, hero sandwich. Attack up in battle. And then we have steak in the shape of Meditin's face for 500 gold. Heals 60 HP, don't ask, please. 
Oh man, there's a lot of options here, you know. <laughs> there's a glam. I mean, that glam burger does look good. I do have the money for it. I mean, star fa I mean, I probably won't be having to do a lot of healing. I'll probably just go ahead and buy star fay instead. Actually, first of all. Oh my gosh, his face! A spark killer day! No, hold on, I just need to check my inventory really fast. I'll be right with you in a second. Okay, item... Okay, I got some room. Okay, I got two slots left. Remember, you can always hold eight, you can always hold eight items. I have a hot dog, I have a CT, instant noodles bandage. I got a lot of healing items. And... so... <laughs> I hope I don't have to carry any extra items, you know. I mean, I'm pretty sure hot dog, CT, and noodles manage that. That should heal. That should be enough good healing. So, um, oops, sorry. Okay, um, let's go ahead and buy Starfay. Very popular food. Yes, I shall. Oh, thanks. He have a fab you full day. His face, though, what is up with him? The customer's always right. Sell. Can I sell anything? Why is this person trying to sell me something that is a hamburger restaurant? I'm just trying to survive. Oh, dang, man. So no selling. Well, let's talk. What? Why do you keep trying to talk to me? I'll get in trouble if I get chubby with the customers. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, man, his face, though. So, I wanted to be an actor. <laughs> no wonder the facial expressions. It all makes sense now. Take it from me, little buddy. Oh wow, there's a lot of topics here. I mean, there's always four topics, but these are quite different topics. Life advice. What about life advice? You smoke. D does the MTT Resort allow that? I mean, I definitely don't. I'm le I'm getting on in years, so let me give you some advice, little buddy. <laughs> His face, though. You've still got time. Don't live like me. I'm 19 years old, and I've already wasted my entire life. <laughs> and yeah, you're smoking too. Romance advice. Listen, I like you, little buddy. So I'm gonna save you a lot of trouble. Never interact with attractive people. Oh, dang. Unless you're one of them. They're just gonna take advantage of you. Like that time those two chicks asked me to sneak them some glam burgers. And I, naive teenager that I was, said yes to them bad idea. Well, oh, well, now you mentioned it, what about the Glamburger story? What's up with that? So I went out to the alley to see those two ladies. So, Brad and Caddy, and, uh, you know, see what happened next. And my boss, uh, saw me and asked me what I was doing. I was so startled, the hamburgers in my pockets tumbled onto the ground. Not wanting to lose face, I scrambled to pick them up. But, as I was leaning over, the weight of the remaining hamburgers, oh my gosh, caused my pants to fall down. Oh no. And the girls laughed at me. Everyone calls me Burger Pants now. Ah, so that's how you got your name, Burger Pants. Oh, that's your name. Hey, here's what you could do. Call yourself Burger Pants. And maybe, you know, the... That's the word I'm looking for. The the bad memories of it will just go away, you know. Move up. Live live your name. Own it, you know. And exactly like I said, that bad memory might, might just be a thing of the past, for sure. <laughs> well, that was a funny story though. I'll give you that. <laughs> Look at his face. Well, what about Meditate? When I first came to Hotland, it was my dream to work with Meditin. Well, be careful what you wish for, little buddy. <laughs> Why is Meditin bad? God, have you ever looked around? This place is a labyrinth of bad choices. And every time we try to change something for the better, he vetoes it and says, that's not how they do it on the surface. Oh, so he's living up to human standards. Hmm, okay. Oh, right. Humans are always eating hamburgers made of sequins and glue. Okay, now that's not true. Why else is MTT bad? Why do people find him so attractive? He's literally just a freaking rectangle. <laughs> you know, 
one time I bought one of those uh, kits online to uh, make yourself more rectangular. Oh, dang. They don't work. <laughs> oh my gosh. And finally, what about your future? Future? What future? Nothing down here ever changes. I'll probably be trapped at this stupid job forever. But wait, there is one thing that keeps me going. If Asgore gets just one more soul, we'll finally get to go to the surface. It'll be a brand new world. There's gotta be a second chance out there for me, for everyone. So stay strong, little buddy. When I make it big, I'll keep you in mind. <sighs> and to think that I'm the one who's gonna be the seventh soul. I don't know if he even knows I'm human. It's hard to tell sometimes. But hey, burger pants, take care, all right? Anytime, little buddy. Anytime. Now, what else do we got? So we got a few rooms. Ooh, ah, room service. Got my CT. Apparently, they want CT here. Uh, no. Actually, I do. I actually do have CT. Just don't tell anyone. Then, it's locked from the inside. Is that it? Hmm. Ooh, ah, room service. Got my cinnamon bun? No. Where do you even get cinnamon buns? Then, you hear shuffling. Seems like you could put something under the door. No. Seems busy. Actually, let's try it. Let's see, let's see what happens. What happens if I do? You put a hot dog in front of the door. Oh, no! No, I don't want to waste my hot dog! A white paw shoots out from under the door. It tries to pull the hot dog into its room, but it keeps pressing down too hard and the hot dog keeps spinning away. It finally succeeds. You hear the grinding of stone. <laughs> oh dang, a single hush puppy slides out from under the door. You got hush puppy. Huh, okay, that's interesting. Hush puppy, heal 65. Whoa! 65 HP, that is awesome! Wow, that really is a good return on investment, I must say. This wonderful spell will stop a dog from casting magic. Huh, that's cool. Actually, let me go take a look at my CT again. CT. Heals 10 HP. Made from glowing marsh water. Increases speed for one battle. I mean, I don't know. Do I really need that CT anymore? It's not like increasing speed for one battle is really going to help me much out anymore. I don't know. I may as well just give this guy the CT and see what happens. Not my CT? You pour the CT under the door. Huh? That's just the way I want. Here's a tip. You got 99 gold. Wow, that's pretty impressive. 628 gold. Let's see here. I only got, now I got six items again. So technically I could get myself another star phase just in case. And I'll, yeah. Well, I don't know. Actually... You know, since it's an MTT resort, I may as well call up Papyrus and Undyne. Let them know where I am. Can I not? Oh, here we go. Ring, ring. Careful! I've heard that hotel. I've heard that hotel has a dog problem. Oh, no pets allowed, huh? I'm not talking about pets. What's the problem? The problem is dog. What's wrong with dogs? Not all dogs, just that one. What's wrong with it? Everything! <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about, about dogs and all that. No, relax it. Yeah, of course I've seen that. 
But anyways, guys, I think that's really all I all that I really have for this episode today. I don't want to continue on to the core, as I said. I just want to spend some time here, relax. I mean, I, we, we've already covered a lot of content just now. We covered the Muffets fight. We covered another puzzle with Meditin. And we covered MTT Resort. So I think this is a great stopping point for us today. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this episode, drop a like down below. It lets me know how I'm doing. And if you want to see more of my content, why not hit that subscribe button? It'll help out me. It'll help out you. So once again, thank you all. Until next time, I'll see you around.